Narayana Narayana. In this episode, we will discuss Sarga 2, which describes the origin of Ramayana. We will also get to know why Ramayana is referred to as Adikavya and why Valmiki is known as Adikavi. After Narada left at the end of Sarga 1, Valmiki went to Tamasa River, which is near River Ganga. He bathed in the river and enjoyed the beauty of the surrounding forest. He looked at a pair of cranes or crown chapakshis, which are in love with each other. In that instant, a hunter shot an arrow, killing the male bird. Unable to bear the loss, the female bird started crying. Valmiki's heart was broken by that incident. Looking at the agony of the female crane, he uttered the following words. Manishada Pratishtamtva Magama Shashwati Samah Yat Krauncha Mithuna Dekam Avadi Kama Mohitam After uttering these words, Valmiki paused for a moment, thinking about what he just said. He turned to his student Bharadvaja and remarked that the sentences he spoke out loud were grammatically proportionate with equal words in each phrase, and it is very easy to sing. Experts say, at this very point of time, Ramayana started taking off in Valmiki's mind. This is considered as a very celebrated stanza in Sanskrit. Experts say that this could be the first verse of human origin with metrical rules and grammar. Earlier to this, only Vedic stanzas were available, which had complicated compositional rules. At a surface level, a simple interpretation of this stanza is said to be that, O oh hunter, without any reason, you have killed the male bird when it was in a joyful mood with its partner. You will bear bad reputation for the rest of eternity. There are several other interpretations with Rama as Nishada and Ravana as Nishada, but the most generally accepted alternative interpretation is that Ma Nishada refers to Rama and Sita. Pratishtvam Tvam Agama refers to Rama following his father's orders and going to forest, thereby attaining everlasting fame. Shashwati Sama refers to the eradication of Rakshasas and helping sages by Rama in the forest. Kraunchayoho refers to the atrocious couple of Vali and Tara of which Rama killed Vali. It also refers to Rama and Sita as a lovely couple of whom Ravana unjustly almost killed Sita. It also refers to Ravana and Mandodari of which Rama kills Ravana. Kama Mohitam refers to Sita at the end of the story where she is fascinated by her desire to see sages' wives in Uttarakhanda. Thus, the above verse included the meaning of whole Ramayana, which is in line with general rule of thumb for any kavya, where the entire gist is said to be mentioned at the start. This verse in particular justifies why Ramayana is called Adhikavya and Valmiki is known as Adhikavi. Each and every shloka can be divided into four parts which can be rhythmically remembered and sung, which is a very new innovation at that point of time. The student Bharadwaja took notes from Valmiki and they proceeded to complete Madhyana Sandhya Vandana in Tamasa River. Valmiki and Bharadwaja were lost in their thoughts about this stanza for the rest of the day and eventually reached their ashrama by dusk. At the ashrama, they further discussed about grammar and composition. The next day, they had a visit from Brahma, a pleasantly surprised Valmiki received Brahma, offered necessities, and let him settle down at the ashrama comfortably. Despite a visit from Brahma himself, Valmiki was still lost in his thoughts about the birds and words he uttered the day before. 
recognizing what's going on in the head of Valmiki, Brahma recommended him to compose entire Ramayana with the same grammatical structure. Brahma further says that Rama's character should be known to the world and suggested Valmiki to write about Rama as told by Narada. He blessed Valmiki with the knowledge of all known and unknown secrets of Ramayana and said that whatever is written by Valmiki is a reflection of truth itself. Soon after, Brahma left the ashrama. Valmiki and his students were still in awe of Brahma's visit and the entire ashrama sang that shloka for the rest of the night and the next few days. It is important to note that Ramayana is full of pathos. It is Karuna Shoka Rasaprathana. The story begins with the bird's incident which influences Valmiki's mood before writing the epic and also sets the tone for readers for what is to come later in the story. This completes Sarga 2 of Balakanda in Ramayana. In the next episode, I will share how Valmiki compiled the story of Rama. Until then, Narayana, Narayana. Please like, share and subscribe for more videos. You can also follow us on Twitter, Facebook and Koo.